Okay, so today we are going to make a Thai pumpkin custard. And I saw a lot of people make this recipe actually for Halloween, but I think it is probably more relevant to be serving it during the holidays and what like a nice show-stopping piece uh, this will be with the custard inside the pumpkin. So usually this custard in Thailand, it's made from coconut milk, so it's nice and rich, but it's also firmed up with duck eggs. Sometimes it's a mix of duck eggs and chicken eggs, but it's a little bit more rich that way. Um, and the Thais typically use more of the Asian pumpkin or the Asian squash, which is like a kabacha squash. But I thought this is going to work with any of the pumpkins that we have um, lying around. I will do a very like easy version of a vegan uh, egg custard for you all. And I think it's going to be really, really pretty uh, just inside this, um, is it called like a white ghost pumpkin or something like that? Yeah, so something, something like this. So um, I hope you all enjoy this one and uh, you'll be able to share it uh, during the holidays. So a good tip is when you're rinsing out the pumpkin, fill it back up with water and then measure out how many cups it takes to fill that pumpkin because uh, then you can adjust for the amount of custard that you have and then you can make sure that it actually fills up the pumpkin. So very good tip right there. Got this tip from Hot Thai Kitchen. Um, if your pumpkin, my pumpkin's not exactly, it doesn't sit flat, so just make yourself like a little ring of aluminum foil and then it should sit upright. Um, my lid like no longer fits, <laughs> so we'll be steaming it with the pumpkin though. close to perfect. Pretty much. Okay. 
So now the, the cornstarch won't sink to the bottom because it's already started to turn into custard a bit. Uh, we're gonna steam this 45 minutes uh, until the pumpkin is softened.